an exponent of zero. We have the property that any non-zero base raised to the power of zero is equal to one. So a to the zero equals one as long as the base of a is non-zero itself. This is based on two different properties. First, it works with the multiplication rule. If we look at our example with a base of three, right? So three is a non-zero base and we raise that, we have three to the zero. So three to the zero power times three to the third our multiplication property says that we want to find the sum of those exponents. We want to do three plus zero. But three plus zero is just a sum of three. Anything plus the zero is just the number. So three to the zero times three to the third is equal to three to the third. But we also have the property that any number times one is equal to itself. So that means that one times three to the third is also equal to just three to the third. So now we have two different expressions equaling three to the third. So comparing and looking at those expressions and the equations themselves term by term, we have one times three to the third equals three to the third. Three to the zero times three to the third equals three to the third. So we can see that first circled terms, one and three to the zero, are going to be equivalent. Three to the zero equals one. So this shows that any base, it doesn't have to just be for three, but any non-zero base raised to the zero power is going to equal one. Well, now what about a base of zero? So first let's use what we know about positive exponents and that property using a base of zero. So for example, how would we evaluate zero to the first? Well, zero to the first, that's a base of zero just multiplied once or once. So we just have zero. Then how about zero to the second? So we have zero to the second is a base of zero multiplied twice. So it would be zero times zero, but that product is still zero. How about zero to the 10th? That's that base of zero multiplied out 10 times. That's zero times 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 zero. But with all those zeros, all those factors, 10 times a zero, it's still a product of zero. So you can start to see a pattern. What do you think zero to the fifth would be? Zero to the 15th, zero to the 20th, zero to the 100th, zero to the 1,000th. What generalization can be made for zero raised to any positive exponent? Well, when evaluating zero raised to any positive exponent, it will always be zero. So think about it, you have that factor, that base of zero, just multiplied out however many times, but because it has that factor of zero, it will always make the product equal to zero. But that's raised to a positive exponent. What about a zero exponent? What is zero to the zero? How can this be evaluated? Can this be evaluated at all? Check it out by evaluating it on your calculator or any resource that you have around you. There is no agreed upon value for zero to the zero. Your calculator might have given you a different answer in, than your peer's calculator, or it might have not given you an answer at all. It might have read error, or you might have looked up in a textbook that it's zero to the zero is equal to one. Another textbook might have told you that zero to the zero is equal to zero. Different books and references reach different conclusions. So the currently accepted answer is that it is indeterminate or undefined.